subtopic 3.2 binomial expansion so go, we're going to learn how to expand a binomial for example here a plus b to the power of n let's say we have a plus b squared we can expand this binomial into a squared plus 2ab plus b squared or we have a plus b to the power of 3 is equal to a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square and plus b cube so how about a plus b to the power of 6 in this lecture we're going to learn how to expand the binomial expansion the first method using Pascal triangle so to construct a Pascal triangle we start with one on the top and we separate one here okay so next to get the triangle inside we just plus one plus one equal to two and we continue 1 plus 2 equal to 3 and 2 plus 1 equal to 3 next we have 1 plus 3 equal to 4 3 plus 3 equal to 6 3 plus 1 equal to 4 then we can continue the sum until we get the row that we need so now let's say we have a plus b to the power of 6 so we have here 1 6 15 20 15 6 and 1 so all this is the, the coefficient of the binomial expansion for example here one is mean the coefficient in front a power of six is one then six the coefficient is six fifteen the coefficient is fifteen twenty fifteen six and one so the expansion we start with a power of six the highest power then the power will decrease a power of 5 for b it start with b power of 0 so it's mean 1 so it will increase the power b power of 1 b power of 2 until the highest power b power of 6 for a the power will decrease until a power of 0 the second method by using the binomial expansion so for this expansion we're going to use four positive integer n that's mean the power must be positive so the formula is given by column n0 is mean n c0 then multiply with a with highest power and b to the power of 0 and plus n1 which mean n c1 multiply with a to the power of n minus 1 which mean decrease 1 power and for b the power is increasing from 0 to 1 and we can see the pattern power of 2 and until the highest power power of n okay so for a the power is decreasing from the highest power until a power of 0 so we compare to the general equation a plus b power of n so it's mean a equal to 2 
b equal to x and n equal to 5. So let's use the binomial expansion. We start with 5, 0 and 2 to the power of 5 for x power of 0. Next, 5, 1. The power decreasing. 2 to the power of 4. And for x, to the power of 1. We continue the binomial. 5, 2. 2 to the power of 3. x to the power of 2. And 5, 3. 2 to the power of 2. And x to the power of 3. Continue until we have x to the power of 5. So 2 to the power of 1 here. x to the power of 4. And the last one, 5, 5. 2 to the power of 0. And x to the power of 5. Next, we're going to simplify the expansion. So 5c0 equal to 1, 2 to the power of 5, 32, and x to the power of 0, 1. Next, 5c1 is 5, 2 to the power of 4, 16, and multiply with x. Continue with 5c2, 10. Multiply with 2 to the power of 3, 8. And multiply with x squared. 5c3 is equal to 10. 2 to the power of 2, 4. And x cubed. Continue. 5c4 is equal to 5. 2 to the power of 1, 2, and x to the power of 4. And the last one, 5c5, 1, 2 to the power of 0 equal to 1, and x to the power of 5. So, from here we will get 32 plus 80x plus 80x squared plus 40x cubed plus 10x power of 4 and the last one x to the power of 5. Next example, 1 minus 2x to the power of 4. So compare to general equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 2x, and m equal to 4. So let's use the binomial expansion. Start with 4, 0. So 1 to the power of 4, negative 2x to the power of 0. Plus 4, 1. 1 to the power of 3, negative 2x to the power of 1. 
we continue four two one square negative two x square four three one to the power of one negative two x to the power of three and the last one 4c4 here this means 1 power of 0 and negative 2x power of 4 let's simplify 4c0 is equal to 1 1 to the power of 4 1 and negative 2x to the power of 0 equal to 1 4 c1 we will get 4 1 power of 3 equal to 1 and multiply with negative 2x next 4 c2 we will get 6 multiply with 1 and multiply with 4x squared 4c3 is equal to 4 1 to the power of 1 equal to 1 and negative 2x power of 3 we will get negative 8x power of 3 And the last one, 4C4 equal to 1, 1 to the power of 0 equal to 1, negative 2x power of 4, we will get plus 16x power of 4. From here, we will get 1 minus 8x plus 24x square minus 32x cubed and plus 16x power of 4. Next, definition of n factorial. If n is a positive integer, then n factorial is given by n factorial equal to n multiply with n minus 1 n minus 2 n minus 3 until 1 this mean n will multiply with all number less than n until 1 for example we have 5 factorial so 5 multiply with 4 multiply with 3 multiply with 2 and multiply with 1 so it's equal to 120 next definition of a binomial coefficient let n and r be whole numbers which n is greater or equal to r so we can say n CR is also equal to n factorial divided by n minus r factorial multiplied with r factorial. Let's say we have 5, 2. So we can use calculator 5C2 or we can use the factorial 5 factorial divided by 5 minus 2 factorial multiply with 2 factorial so we will get 5 multiply with 4 multiply with 3 multiply with 2 factorial divided by 5 minus 2 equal to 3 factorial or we can write it as 3 multiply with 2 multiply with 1 and multiply with 2 factorial 
from here we can simplify cancel to factorial 3 and 4 divided by 2 and we will get 2 multiplied with 2 10 divided by 1 so we will get 10 